Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how to set up a landing page. There are two ways you can do this. You can go to the navigation bar, click on automation and go to landing pages, or you can do it from the dashboard. At the top you have breadcrumbs that show you the entire process from start to finish. Okay, let's start by naming the landing page, but this is only an internal name for you to see. Okay, let's type in example squeeze page and click next. Under templates, you have a lot of different categories of, of templates. You can start building one from scratch, but we're going to select a ready-made one and click edit. Now we are in the builder and we want to change a few things. Let's select the image element <clears throat> and click the pencil icon. Okay, we can change the image by clicking the media manager in the inspector section, or you can click on the image icon in the toolbar and upload an image from the web or from your PC. Okay, so let's select an image of a logo and use that image. All right. Now let's edit the text a bit. Let's change a word, remove a word, and um, stylize it a bit, you know, change the color, right? We have a lot of different options like fonts and different style options. We're gonna change the color. Okay, and click choose. All right, next we're gonna edit the, uh, the form field Okay, we have to make sure that, that the type is correct. We want it to be an email. Let's change the placeholder text. Enter your email and mark the field as required. We want people to fill it out. Okay, now let's click on the button and change the link. We want to collect the data and send it to a different page. So let's do that. Let's select the submit form data option and enter a web URL that we want to re re redirect people to. Okay, that's it. Now let's save our progress and continue. In the management step, we have to add an integration or a web app that we want to send our data to, that we collect. Okay, so let's select MailChimp and Action and a list. Make sure that the form fields properties are set up correctly. You can also integrate a missing provider in this step or add a, a, a second integration or even a third if you want to send data to a, a lot of different web apps. Okay, let's continue past the tracking and the previous step. Okay, in the publish step, we can once again rename the landing page, but this is once again an internal name for you to see. We can also edit the URL. All right. Uh, there are two publishing options, WordPress, uh, where you can download the plugin and uh, take it from there, or you can publish it on our server. So you click on URL and publish. Okay, we copied the URL before, before clicking publish. Now you can see the new page in the list. Now let's see what it looks like. So we're going to insert the URL in the browser and voila, 